Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2020. Wow, we're starting off with the star card, Scorpio. So for a lot of you guys, it's almost like being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It could also represent wishes being fulfilled. Now, the obstacle here is the two of wands. So some type of expansion, uh, partnership, um, even in the business aspect or in the financial aspect, um, as a blockage, it could represent uh, being or, or not being able to be on the same page or communicate rather um, in, in a very easy way or in an easy manner. For some reason, a bit of misunderstandings. Um, for others of you, you could be dealing with a situation of relationships, as I do see the Eight of Cups here. So someone could have walked away, um, could have walked away from a connection or a relationship. Uh, that could be the reason why the Two of Wands is coming up as an obstacle as well. But keep in mind with the Star card, uh, your current situation is uh, the planet alignments aligning or um, spirit helping you. Uh, like I said, prayers being answered. Now, you also do have the Knight of Swords here. So I do see momentum. I do see communication uh, starting to happen rather quickly for the month of April. So for a lot of you guys hearing back from that person or getting communication from them, uh, you also do have the devil card here. And the devil card could represent Saturn energy. It could also represent a Capricorn. Some of you guys may be dealing with Aquarius type of energy as well or Libra, Gemini, um, and Aquarius. Now, yeah, so definitely there was some type of ending that came, uh, some type of some type of ending in regards to a connection for most of you. Uh, the devil card could represent dealing with toxic type of energy or pulling away from toxic energy. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a relationship that ended quite a while ago and there is still some hope or you're still holding on to some type of hope, some type of desire to uh, be able to have either communication or to rekindle. But with the Ten of Swords, I feel that someone's definitely been, um, someone's definitely been left hurt in pain, uh, even, you know, disappeared on you type of energy. Um, but what they are saying here is you cannot, uh, you cannot suppress this or you cannot hold it back, Scorpio. Uh, the energy here is basically embrace the change, embrace the ending that has happened. Uh, I do see you guys rather um, being very dissatisfied in your current situation. Uh, again, we do see love here with the two of cups. So I do feel that uh, there hasn't been any type of communication or any progress in regards to the situation, but they are still thinking of you, Scorpio. They are still having... Uh, that type of loving energy towards you because this is their energy, the Two of Cups. Now, we also have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is arguments or petty arguments, um, more to do with pride more than anything. Someone in this situation or in this connection is definitely connected to pride. Uh, they're not wanting to, and this could be the partner uh, that is having, you know, that is constantly thinking of you, wanting to come back, wanting to reach out. Um, but they are refusing to do so because of their pride or because of their ego. Uh, it could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. Now, we do have here two fives. So there's definitely a lot of friction. For a lot of you guys, the reason why this ending happened was because both of you, this connection uh, is very toxic type of energy. And it could represent um, almost like uh, instead of dating someone, it's almost like a feeling of you turned out to date like your worst enemy type of energy it's like you guys bring out the worst in each other so what spirit is telling you here in this present time if you are currently dealing with this uh you need to embrace this ending Th this has to like this cycle toxic cycle needs to come to an ending uh it's not doing any good for you or any good for them the star card here does symbolize being able to see light at the end of the tunnel being able to uh, really count your blessings uh, once you step out of the situation or walk away from the situation because you're too close, you're too emotional 
to this uh, to this situation. Uh, but once you're able to de distance or detach yourself, you are going to quickly come to see uh, that your energy flows much more organically or that uh, the best, you know, I should say the worst was brought out uh, from you uh, based on this connection with the devil card as well. Um, and the star card is only here to show you or for spirit uh, to show you that there is calmer waters ahead that your destiny is not them at this present time that uh, there's so much more that you still need to achieve that you still need to do and perhaps even um come in contact with that of a higher uh higher spirit or higher soul i should say uh that could meet or level up to your energy scorpio All right, so I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of understanding. If you are dealing with this, my suggestion would be uh, to take it day by day. Be easy on yourself, Scorpio. Um, with two fives, there's a lot of struggles here in this relationship. Should you continue putting effort in the relationship and trying to fix this, um, you're going to end up losing yourself in this relationship and it becomes wholly about the partner and not about you ultimately getting to a point of feeling very dissatisfied with your life so again use this time and contemplation to help you to guide you you deserve so much better you deserve to be treated much more um better in a more loving way and um love is not about struggle or fights uh of course every relationship has its difficulties but if it's something constant and it's something on everyday basis, is it really worth it, Scorpio? Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.